So based on what I was reading in our press notes, it does seem like Ethan and Trisha just made this environment super collaborative. So can you each tell me something that you brought to your character during the rehearsal process or even on set that is uniquely your own? Hmm. Well, my character name changed from the time that I auditioned to the time that we shot the movie. And that was given to me by Ethan and Trisha, but I felt like they sort of locked in who they wanted her to be with the name change. So when I auditioned, the character's name was Jennifer. Um, great name. Loved all to all the Jennifers out there. But um, then they renamed her Suki Shankleman. And the way Ethan always said it was like Suki Shankleman. And she would he would sort of take it in. And um, that sort of locked me in for, for who they wanted her to be. You own that name. You make it your own. I love it. <laughs> Beanie Feldstein, alter ego. Suki Shankleman. <laughs> yes. like, yep, there it is. How about for the two of you? Something you came up with for your characters that you brought to the project. <laughs> <laughs> what did we do? It was so long ago. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think, like, I don't know. I mean... <laughs> it's all, like, really written so well, right? And you're just... I guess my feeling kind of is, like, like, how do I become, like, a person that would say all of this, right? You know? Like, um, I think the, the little things that were felt like my job to figure out was, like, how does she walk? How does she, like... Yeah. You know, what's her... I guess that's a lot of it. How does she walk? Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, or like, yeah, yeah, that kind of stuff. Like, what's your physicality like? And I'm just saying more ways to say how does she walk? <laughs> physicality and movement as well. What a slower run looks like. What a Posture, run looks like. How she carries <laughs> yes. herself. Yes. It ties yes. directly to her confidence. I and then it. also, you know, what our relationship felt like, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah, so much of it was in the script, like... It, it, my Marion was described as zipped up. So I really, I feel like, yeah, the script was so detailed and then Ethan and Trish kind of really let us have it. They just kind of um, trusted us to, to bring ourselves and our instincts to it. And, you know, those little things, like little jewelry that you'd wear and like, yeah. you know, these little kind of totems that you find for your character. So maybe you will have an answer to this question because I tend to pick on little details like this. They're necklaces. Do they have specific meanings? Huh. Necklaces specific meanings. Not real. Not from. Did yours? I feel like I can't remember. I remember. <laughs> I have a couple necklaces. I've got like that little chain that I wear sometimes, but that was all just, we had this incredible costume designer, Peggy. Yeah. Um, and she, I I mean, it was like the fastest, you know, some, like the whole, ex it's a good example of kind of like the whole experience of this movie, which is like a lot of times you go into a, a costume fitting and it's like kind of horrible, you know what I mean? Because you're like putting on clothes that don't fit you and you like, uh -huh. so like it's not really what you imagined and you're like trying to make, you're trying to like pick out the best things, trying to figure it out. And with this, it was just like, well, this is better than what I imagined. This all yeah, fits perfectly. Like, shopping. yeah, exactly. Like, can I keep it? Yeah. Um, and, then, and I felt the same way kind of with like uh, across the board, like there's uh, Lori, Gwyn Rosetti, your last name mm. uh d did our hair and she like taught me how to do my hair for the first time yeah, you know like yeah. i'm someone with like curly unruly hair and she like i was like oh this is how it goes like yes. so that was kind of the experience across the board of this movie i was like ah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah totally i love hearing stuff like that i'll end with a uh, a lighter sillier question the three of you have to go on a road trip i want you each to tell me your greatest asset as a road trip buddy, and then I want you to tell me the worst thing you would bring to that road trip team. Mm. The three of us are in the car together. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> I would be on the orcs. Yes. I would, okay. I, I, that, that. I always <laughs> just love, I'm the DJ. We're a little DJ here. <laughs> that's, that's what I bring. <laughs> Gerald DJ. Gerald DJ. Gerald DJ in the squeaky. house. I feel like. <laughs> Professor of Vibes. <laughs> I feel like I'm the mom, the mom <laughs> energy. <laughs> Snacks and like, Emergency kits and first aid. Very important. You know, yeah, she's responsible. I'm the mom. That. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get us there. You know. And what's your worst quality? That I'm annoying. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm like allergic to everything, and I can't just like rock up That's places. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. It's a mom vibe, That's you know. Mean. Um, but I got you. Okay. What's yours? My best and worst. Yeah. Um, me, my best and worst. My best and worst. <laughs> um, I think 
My worst is that <laughs> I drink a lot of water and I'm gonna want to mm. stop all the time. Oh, you're one of those. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> want. Yeah, I'm gonna take a million breaks. But I'm, I'm fine if you just want to pull over on the side of the highway. Oh yeah, you know. <laughs> like, I think that's actually my preference. It's to freeing, be honest, yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> open the door, you create a little, you open the back door and the front door. We go to New Jersey a lot. Anyway. <laughs> you create like a little, oh God. I grew up in New Jersey. Like, yeah, you can't really like, <laughs> New Jersey, anything goes. Anything goes. <laughs> well, I just mean like, I'm like, I'm doing this a lot. Okay, okay I should start, I should stop. <laughs> um, I, what's your best quality? <laughs> My best quality is that, um, I, I think that, I can be pretty glass half full, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think you'll bring, <laughs> you'll bring the Fanta. Or half empty because I drink it and we need to pull it. Hey! Yeah. There it is. <laughs>